Hello, everyone. Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thanks for tuning in to what we call Tour Swing Tuesday. And we have Zach Johnson up here, really good player for a long time, won two majors, made about $45 million in his career, so that's not too bad. So let's take a look at his motion, see what we can learn. So I draw that circle for his head so we can watch head motion and then that line for swing plane. So some cool things here that I think you can learn. So let's take him into motion here. So hands very low, which is pretty good. I like that because it'll help you in your game hinge your wrist, which some people don't do naturally. And sometimes if you have your hands too high, it's hard to do that. So that's something I wanted to point out in his setup. So you're going to see him take the club here right along that plane line right here, as you can see. And he's going to get the club in a little bit of a shut position uh, right in here uh, when he's parallel to the ground. So maybe like a 45-degree angle, which is quite shut. Now remember, Zach Johnson has a very strong grip with the V's pointing to his right shoulder. Um, so that would make sense that he's a little shut here. And you're going to see what he does to on the downswing to uh, really kind of correct that in a sense. So let's take him back into the backswing here. And you're going to see a nice turn, right? We always see that head still. Now Zach's going to have a closed club face at the top. Can't really see that because the cloud's there. Uh, but, and not a really long swing, swing, right? Maybe like a three-quarter type swing, I would say. Um, and what else do you notice? This is a very flat swing. So this is what we call a one-plane swing. And people ask me, well, what's better? Should I use a one-plane one swing or a two-plane swing? And I answer, yes. <laughs> so I'm not too concerned with that. I, I think that's more of a preference um, among players. And it's, it's pretty difficult to change your plane. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but I am a fan of, of doing what he does on the downswing. And that's letting the club just kind of shallow out, right, on the downswing. And so that club's going to come, you know, slightly from the inside, right? So we want to – he plays a draw, which is, you know, club inside the hands and the delivery, which is what you're going to see right in here, right? That's where you want to be for a draw, and as he comes into the hitting area, you can see he's going to get the club face closed to that path. And we kind of see this with guys who draw it more shoulders, a little more closed like that, where you can see more of his left arm and maybe not as much hip rotation. And then Zach's going to extend here, and you're going to see his club face not turn over as much. So he's going to have a toe-up position here um, and into the follow-through. So not as much face rotation, which you see – with guys who have more of a shut club face. So right in there, you usually see the club face point more down. So uh, there's a couple things about Zach Johnson. I would say this, that what you can learn from it. I would say a couple things. One is simplicity creates consistency. He's got a very simple swing, right? Not too long. Now remember, Zach doesn't hit the ball especially far. He's like 153rd last year in driving distance, but he hits his wedges extremely good. So if you have um, a weakness like his, he does in a sense, you have to be really strong at something else. And so I don't know if you know, but when he won the 2007 Masters, he laid up on every par five, and he played him 11 under. So that tells me this guy's a great wedge player, um, which is something you want to do. Spend a lot of your time on three clubs, driver, putter, wedge, and I think you'll improve a lot. So Anyhow, that's Zach Johnson Swing. Hope you enjoyed it and you got some things out of it. Um, and hey, if you like this video, this video analysis, I'd love to do one for you. It's really easy with the V1 Golf app. You just send me your swing and I send it back to you with an analysis. And it's a great way to improve. All you got to do is hit that link below to get started. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Help you appreciate me. And you can really help me build this channel by hitting that subscribe button below, hitting that bell, select all, and uh, give me the thumbs up. I would love that a lot. So um, thanks for joining us today. We always love hearing from you. How's your game? What are you doing to stay sharp these days? I'd love to know. So we'll see you back here next Tuesday for another Tour Swing Tuesday. And we'll look, see, look forward to seeing you Friday for our living room lessons. Okay, thanks for tuning in. God bless. And we'll see you soon.